right, this will be uh, video number three for the morning already because it's so busy. No, the fucking sky is not goddamn falling. Look at it. The shit's all in place, man. The sky's not falling. So, Rod Rosenstein resigning his position just makes it that much easier for uh, Donald Trump to appoint someone to uh, help him authorize firing Robert Mueller from the special counsel. Um, without Rod Rosenstein, I don't think any articles of impeachment would ever be able to go through anyway. They'd have to have proof. He was the only guy on that side that really has an issue. And I don't think, I don't know if Ray's going to get in the way or not. I've yet to see. He's been pretty quiet lately, hasn't he? So uh, anyways, yeah, the whole thing is, is that Rosenstein being gone is the next step in getting rid of Robert Mueller, which is the next step in getting rid of the special counsel. What the uh, QAnon followers have been told to believe is that Robert Mueller is on Donald Trump's side. So this Rosenstein being out and Mueller about to get fired is not part of that plan. Um, it is not, it is not part of that. So, but what we look at is the actual facts, the actual happenings, the actual evidence and such. And what we're, what we're seeing is that Rod Rosenstein is uh, basically one of the very last ones that is still have been trying to hold out um, on not admitting to the guilt. He was caught red-handed, basically. All of them were. Um, this was an attempted coup against an elected president. I'm not saying he's my favorite president. I'm not saying he's my least favorite president. But uh, any given president, they try and have a coup against. There's rules for that. And, uh, I mean... Fuck, dude, they didn't do a coup against George W. Bush, and that guy should have been taken out as soon as 9-11 happened. Him and Cheney both should have been removed from office violently. Um, and instead, instead, we just let those motherfuckers keep going. So I don't know what the fuck Donald Trump has done that is so bad compared to those guys. Talk about people that are more like literally Hitler, George W. Bush. Oh, my God. Dick Cheney. Oh, my God. Obama. Oh, my God. So, anyways, with Rod Rosenstein gone, Robert Mueller is this basically on thin ice, his ass is about out the door. As soon as his ass is out the door, there's no more Russia investigation. Although, from my angle, the most reasonable thing they could do is not close down the investigation, but replace the investigator with a new special counsel to go after some other topics and a new scope. So with the uh, deputy attorney general gone, a new deputy attorney general can step into place who can then authorize an expanded scope for things like Benghazi, or FISA abuse by the previous administration, including the president. A lot of these things. So that's kind of what we're looking at here is the, the Q people are going to get fucking blindsided by this shit. They're going to see Mueller go and they're going to be like, wait a minute, Q said. And at that point, the entire Q narrative is going to fucking unravel because Robert Mueller is not on Donald Trump's side. That sack of fucking goat shit was involved in the September 11th cover up. He told people they were fucking insane and liars because they were like, no, it's pretty obvious what happened. So, no, Robert Mueller is not on the fucking president's side, unless the president is a 100% piece of shit, and I don't think he is at this point, so we'll see how this goes, but uh, yeah, Rosenstein's out, Mueller's next, hashtag what fucking plan, right? Hashtag where Sessions, right? So there we go, see what happens.